Hey, good morning. Yeah, we're here at Douglas Park in Miami. You can see all that sand behind me. People coming out yesterday and will once again today to fill up those bags, especially for people who live in areas that are more likely to flood. But I want to show you some video from yesterday because this wasn't just in Miami-Dade County. We also see, saw people coming out in Broward County to fill up these bags, very concerned about the possibility of flooding here in South Florida. They want to put them outside of their homes to make sure that water doesn't get in. And all day, people were coming to fill up, grabbing what they could to protect their homes, especially those who live in areas prone to flooding. All this street right here, that all looks like a lake. It just yeah. doesn't drain well anymore. No, it doesn't drain well. Okay. We have reported it so many times, but they don't do much about it. Okay. So that One time they fixed it, but it was fixed for about a whole year, but then like on the second or the third, that was it. So again, in Miami, you can get the sandbags here at Douglas Park, but you can also get them at Grapeland Park and Little Haiti Soccer Park from 7 a.m. So in just a little less than an hour, running up until 5 p.m. In Fort Lauderdale, they're being given out starting at 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Mills Pond Park. And today we are expected uh, to hear from FEMA during a joint press conference with the National Hurricane Center. We're expected to hear an update on the storm as well as the potential impacts. Of course, as soon as it happens, we'll let you know. We're in Miami Live this morning. Terry Hornstein, CBS4 This Morning.